Let's get the Broadcaster Pro up and running. Power it on using the switch on the side of the device. The display will show a handful of startup steps, such as preparing the network hardware and USB hardware. After a few minutes, the display will prompt you to connect to the internet. You can either wait for the Broadcaster Pro to find a connection on its own, or press on the black joystick next to the menu indicator. The screen will then give you two options, connect via and stream mode. Press on the black joystick to select connect via. You will then have three options, ethernet, wireless, or 3G, 4G. Ethernet is recommended and should be selected if the broadcaster is connected to a modem directly. Automatic is quicker, but you can enter in your network's information manually as well. Wireless can be selected if you have a local Wi-Fi connection available. You can scan for a network and select it with a joystick. If the network is password protected, toggle the joystick between the various characters to enter in the password. Toggling up and down will change the letter casing, numbers, and other characters. Select OK to submit the password. If you have a compatible 4G USB modem plugged in, select USB 3G 4G. Again, you can select automatic or do a custom configuration. A complete list of compatible modems is available in the Livestream Help Center. Once the Broadcaster Pro is connected to the internet, it will sync with Livestream.com. Then it will present a five-digit code to prompt you to go to Livestream.com go. In a web browser, visit Livestream.com go. Log into your account and enter the code from your broadcaster into the text field. Then click Pair. After a few seconds, the Broadcaster Pro will load the events on your account. Use the joystick to select one. You are now connected and ready to start streaming with your Broadcaster Pro.